something stupid? It's one of your surveillance drones. That's a $12 million piece of hardware. It was. I know you're trying to find out where I hang my cape. You won't. Then I'll ask the obvious question. How do we know you won't one day act against America's interests? I grew up in Kansas, General. About as American as it gets. Look, I'm here to help. But it has to be on my own terms. And you have to convince Washington of that. Even if I were willing to try, what makes you think they'd listen? I don't know, General. Guess I'll just have to trust you. What are you smiling about, Captain? Nothing, sir. I just think he's kind of hot. Get in the car, Captain. Mm -hmm, yes, sir. He always believed you were meant for greater things. And that when the day came, your shoulders would be able to bear the weight. Yeah. I just wish you could have been here to see it finally happen. He saw it, Clark. What are you going to do when you're not saving the world? Have you given any thought to that? I have, actually. <laughs> I gotta find a job where I can keep my ear to the ground. Where people won't look twice. When I want to go somewhere dangerous. Start asking questions. side seats to the game tonight. What do you say? I say you should go back to trolling the intern pool. You'll probably have more luck. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Lombard. Lane, I want you to meet our new stringer. I want you to show him the ropes. This is Clark Kent. Good luck, kid. Hey, Steve. Nice to meet you. You too. Hi. Lois Lane. Welcome to the planet. Glad to be here, Lois. 